I've been waiting to get this thing off my chest because I did not understand this part of the movie. How the hell is this happening? Welcome to another edition of Unpopular Reviews Entertainment. Recast it! And today, we are going to recast The Phantom Menace. Now, this movie was great. Now, the person that I'm going to recast is this person right here. Mm. Anakin's mother. Right? So now there is only one person, and the mark means one person that can also play this woman. Because somehow this child was conceived without a father. Therefore, there is only one person that could play this role. That is the Virgin Mary. Because apparently Anakin Skywalker happens to be baby Jesus. Because how the hell did you conceive a child and have no father? And all of a sudden just say, well, I just became pregnant out of nowhere. One day I was pregnant. That doesn't make any sense. I want to know more about this lady. I want to know more about this Skywalker. This is why I made this decision here. Okay. Now you see how Chris has his head down and he's already going to start talking about Tom Foolery. Watch him come back with some even bigger Tom Foolery. Now, now, now Vic, to be fair to the movie, series they do tell you how he was created oh that's good yes. to know very, see, very now, now see now isn't that great because that i have a lot of questions i haven't seen those movies yet and i'm there and i have a lot of questions and i'm excited to see the next thing so thank you but, thank but you no but because but now but i'm gonna pay attention valid though because it is valid in this movie, is. they don't they don't tell you that precisely okay, but you have to pay attention to it when they tell you in in later films but they do okay. tell you okay okay i want to know no i want to know if she's lying and she's just frying <laughs> you think she was running them streets you a bad girl and your friends bad too oh no i'm not saying she's running them streets i'm just thinking like you know she's try she's trying to be a good girl like she don't want to talk about that she don't want to kiss and tell type mm -hmm. of thing you know what i mean so okay. she's just gonna front and be like no no i just got pregnant you know what i mean on some front shit. okay okay i'll offer some furniture right yeah okay uh chris did you want to go you want me to go all right now listen uh you know i gave this movie a thumbs up Vic gave the movie a thumbs up but as we say in UPRE, any, anybody can get it. Anybody can get that smoke. So who am I going to recast, you say? Well, he already took uh, Gratia Plana, Mary Full of Grace. Who am I going to go after? Well, I'm going to go after... I'm going to go after George Lucas's apparently most favorite character in all of Star Wars. Who is that? This person right here. Now, you may be looking at that and shocked, as was I when I saw that, but it says BBC News, and they wrote it. I didn't, and this apparently is a quote. He names it Jar Jar Binks as his favorite character. Wow, it's amazing. Now, for those of you who don't know who Jar Jar Binks is or have repressed it and put it into your subconscious mind, let me show you and frighten you. There he is, also frightened. And there's his other face in this movie, a dope. Now, we've seen dopey people before, but not on this level. You may be wondering, didn't we see him in Casper? Didn't we see him in that fake X-Men knockoff movie that Chrissy picked? Yeah, we did. But <laughs> this one this one goes to new levels. And I just want to remind you who he was in this movie. He points to those energy binders. If your hand gets caught in the beam, it's going to go numb for hours. My puddle is fatted. My puddle is he got that from Bill Cosby. No, I, I wouldn't do that to Mr. Cosby, despite what people may think of him. I watched that and I said, well, who, who am I going to pick to be this bumbling buffoon? And if you watch the movie, he speaks in a, in a patois that's a... Uh, Caribbean patois. 
Well, I picked this person. Not because he was this way in real life, but because his famous character was this way. No, it's not that white man on the left. It's the black man on the right. That character is Step and Fetch It. And we saw him last in Bamboozle. Ah. He was the one that jumped over the fence when the when the slave owner was talking about, well, what are you going to do? Do mm -hmm. you smell it? And he says, all righty ho. And he jumps over the thing. That's who he act. And he was known as the laziest man on all earth. That was his character phrase. And he was played by a man named Lincoln Theodore Monroe Andrew Perry. That's a long name, but Lincoln Perry is the actor's name. He was credited as the first black uh, millionaire actor in Hollywood. But his character, his claim to fame was a character called Step and Fetch It, who played these bumbling and I show them up and do it like that. And that is who I see when I see Jar Jar Binks. And that's why I added that uh, half a cup of ethnic stereotypes along with the, um, I guess it was Rumble in the Bronx <laughs> voiceover work from those Trade Federation people when they're like, we will get the book <laughs> from the booth. That's it. George, what are you doing here? You cannot do that. We'll see that later in another movie. But I recasted it that as uh, because it was just walling out. But again, step and fetch it. But to, to be fair, the first black actor in American history, also of uh, Caribbean descent uh, and Bahamian descent to become a millionaire. So uh, Lincoln Perry, step and fetch it as Jar Jar Binks, my recast it. Well, James, I have to say that for once, for I'm out of you, it's not Tom Foolery. I understood why you would make that. I, I'm actually proud and impressed that you've matured since the uh, the last recast that episode. Vic, on I the other I hand, great last recast. your name should... Vic, on the other hand, your name should be regrets. It should be regress uh, because you have definitely immature. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I guess James is rubbing off on you. That was just, that was, that was Tom Foolery, man. That was Tom I'm Foolery. You, and you should not do that. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, I go last. That's how we always begin it, right? Here, this is why I go last. Because I spirit. bring dignity to this segment. So who am I going to recast? Y'all ask that question. Who is Chris going to recast for this segment? This guy right here, this little punk, right? This little punk that should have been dropped off at somebody's door like King Koopa uh, was trying to kill him when they were, he was a little princess. And I, I, I said, how can we get any worse than this character? Because this character only has one way to go. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I decided, I decided that you know what? In on second thought, at first I was going to recast him. Yeah, right? I'm talking about going to the dark side. Oh, at first God. I was going to recast him. <laughs> but I said we already know where his path is going to lead him. We already know. <laughs> We already know that we know the true power of the dark okay. side. <laughs> okay, good. The dark side of the forest <laughs> leads many down a path that some may really consider unnatural. unnatural. <laughs> he listened to the emperor because the emperor <laughs> looked at his future with great interest. Right? Yes. yes. And unfortunately, that happened. So I said, you know what? I don't actually have a recast for Anakin. He did a very good job of turning into a uh, Darth Vader. So, you underestimate my power. Good job to you, young Skywalker. Now, my next person I want to recast, and this is a shout out more to to Vix, uh, uh, recasted uh, Tom Foolery that it was, right? So this person right here. Yeah, God, like, know. what is this? What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a midichlorian, right? <laughs> that is what this is. This is a midichlorian of somehow miraculously, miraculously out of nowhere, like an RKO, decided that they wanted to impregnate <laughs> this person with somebody who's later known as the destroyer of worlds, multiple worlds, right? So I said, oh my gosh, man. I barely saw this thing in the movie. I must have needed a microscope to see who I can recast this movie as. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your friend and most men's friend, the sperm, right? The sperm, the very, oh, do not do that to me. This is exactly, come on, it's the same thing. Just like this somehow affected this to create young Jesus Christ. This affected this 
to make this who later became this. I I'm telling you, I have it spot on. The queen of recast is not here, but the emperor, see what I did here? A recast is right here, ladies and gentlemen. I gave you the whole history. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Wrong movie. Wrong movie. But I'm right here to you help you all. Yeah! Oh, man. Oh. That was great. That was that's, great. That's my recast, ladies and <laughs> yeah. gentlemen. Don't, don't, look, don't look at these two tomfoolery. I'm over here helping you. I'm here to say what you are all thinking. You did say Yo. of nonsense, but it was hilarious, and actually, it was on point. I will give you credit. I like how you talk bad about Vic talking about uh, Mary, but then you said somehow Mary without sperm got Jesus, and then you disparaged a whole group uh, of, of religious belief. I don't know what and you're I talking like, about. I am and I like, by the way, I like your metachlorian that is also known as mitochondria. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, that's what I see. It's the closest yeah. it's going to be. It's the closest it's going to be. Exactly. I didn't see. I didn't see it, and neither did uh whatever her name <laughs> is. Up. I forgot her name, but neither did she. So she, but she know what? She didn't care because she just gave her damn child off to the first Shmi man. Her name. Shmi. Oh, that's what her name is. Shmi Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. Slut. Slut. Wait till you see the uh, edited version of this recasting. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our recasting segment. Thank you so much for watching us here. Mm -hmm. Zach Consultant, Regrets, Down There is Mace. We will see you next time right here on Popular Review.